Okay, let's start by turning it on and taking a look at the settings and then I'll show you how I'm using it. So let's go to the settings here. Then there is core plugins and you have to go all the way down here and look for this one here. Where it is, okay, here it is. Unique note creator. In my case, it's off, so let's turn it on, okay? Now we can either click here to go to the settings or I have a lot of plugins that I'm testing here <laughs> or go to it from here, core plugins, look for it here, unique note creator and go to the settings, okay? So what's happening here is this will create a note for you. Let, let's close this. Every time you click this little icon here, okay? And you can set this note in a way that is better for you. Okay, let's start with the file that we are using. Podcast, this one here. So what we are doing here is telling the plugin to always use this template to create a new file. Now let's take a look at this unique prefix format because this is something that I really like. As you know, I start all my notes with year, month and date and this will make, create a note for me with that on the title. But I don't like this format here. I prefer this other format here. So we are telling it to use that template, the podcast one, and you start, create a note with, starting with this here on the title. Finally, we can select a place to create this note. I'm gonna create this note inside my action containers here in this folder here, creator. Okay, so now let's choose a new, let's pretend we started using Obsidian now. I open Obsidian now and I wanna create a new podcast note. All I have to do is click here and it's gonna create it starting with this uh, date, the date format. It will use the, uh, the template I choose and it will create it inside the, file, the folder I selected. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so let's take a look at what I'm actually doing, how I'm actually using this. Okay, this is my real account, so let's go to the settings and I'll show you how I'm using it here. So I have it set to create the new note inside the timeline because what I'm doing most of the time when I open Obsidian is post something to my blog. And as you know, I there's a video here I post from Obsidian. I'm using the new note template, which is the only one I know I explained in past videos and this format here. So when I wanna post something to my blog, all I have to do is click here and there it is. I can add the other options here. I'm thinking about duplicating this template and creating another one with a blog selected here. But for now, I'm not doing that. Another thing I can do is use a shortcut. I created a shift comma n, and it will create, I don't even have to click here, it will create it inside the timeline. To do that, you have to go to the uh, settings and look for hotkeys, type here unique and set, just type whatever you want as a shortcut and you have that shortcut. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the right click. I would love it to work like that because then I wouldn't need the auto template trigger anymore. But the good news is that the auto template trigger and the unique node creator, they don't interfere with each other. You can still use them. So if I right click here, I'll get the same template, in, but unfortunately I will not get the date in the title. I guess we cannot have everything, right? Anyway, all the links to all these other topics, auto template trigger and all the others you'll find in the description below. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate it. Thumbs up. And if you wanna help even more, please consider supporting my work. You can do it on Patreon, YouTube, 
or buying me a coffee. Again, all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.